you're just walking down the street and someone comes up to you and says, quick, quick, 4,792, is this divisible by three? This is an emergency, tell me as quickly as possible. And luckily you have a little tool in your toolkit where you know how to test for divisibility by three. You say, well I could just add up the digits. If the sum of that is a multiple of three, then this whole thing is a multiple of three. So you say four plus seven plus nine plus two. That's 11 plus 9 is 20 plus 2 is 22. That's not divisible by 3. If you were unsure, you could even add the digits of that. 2 plus 2 is 4. Clearly not divisible by 3. So this thing right over here is not, not divisible by 3. And so luckily that, that emergency was, was saved. But then you walk down the street a little bit more and someone comes up to you, quick, quick, quick. 386,802, is that divisible by three? Well, you employ the same tactics. You say, well, what's three plus eight plus six plus eight plus zero plus two? Three plus eight is 11, plus six is 17, plus eight is 25, plus two is 27. Well, 27 is divisible by three. And if you were unsure, you could add these digits right over here. Two plus seven is equal to nine. Clearly divisible by three, so this is divisible by three as well. And so now you feel pretty good. You've helped two perfect strangers with their emergencies. You figured out if these numbers were divisible by three very, 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 very quickly. But you have a nagging feeling. Because you're not quite sure why that worked. You've just kind of always known it. And so let's think about why it worked. And to think about it, I'll just pick a random number, but we could do this really for any number. But I won't go too proofy on it, just so that you can see it's pretty common sense here. And the number we'll use is 498. I could literally use any number in this situation. And to think about why this whole little tool or this little system works, we just have to rewrite 498. We can rewrite the four, since it's in the hundreds place, we could write that as four times 100. Or four times 100, that's the same thing as four times one plus 99. That's all this four is. It's 400, which is the same thing as four times 100, which is the same thing as four times one plus 99. And the little trick here is that I want to write, instead of writing 100, I want to write it as the sum of one plus something that is divisible by three. And 99 is divisible by three. If I had more digits here, 999, 9,999, they're all divisible by three. And this is why you can do the same reasoning for divisibility by nine, because they're all divisible by nine as well. Anyway, that's what that four in the hundreds place represents. This nine in the tenths place, well, that represents 90, or nine times 10, or nine times one plus nine. And then finally, this eight, that's in the ones place, that's just eight times one, or we could just write plus eight. Now, we can distribute this four. This is four times one plus four times 99. So it's four plus four times 99. Actually, let me write it like this. I'm gonna write, well actually, let me write it first. Like four plus four times 99. Do the same thing over here. This is the same thing as plus nine, let me do that magenta color, plus nine plus nine times nine. Nine times nine. And then finally, I have this eight right over here. And I can rearrange everything. These terms right over here, the four times 99, and then the nine times nine. I can write over here four times 99. I'll write it with slightly different notation, plus the nine times the nine. That's those two terms. And then we have the plus four, plus nine, plus nine, plus eight, plus eight. Well, do we, can we now tell whether this is divisible by three? Well, these terms, these first two terms are definitely divisible by three. This is divisible by three because 99 is divisible by three regardless of what we have over here. You don't even have to look at this. This is divisible by three, so if you're multiplying, it's still going to be divisible by three. This is divisible by three, so if you're multiplying, this whole thing is still going to be divisible by three. If you add two things that are divisible by three, the whole thing is going to be divisible by three. So all of this is divisible by three. And if you had other digits here, you would have done the same exact thing. Instead of having one plus 99, you would have one plus 999, one plus 9,999, et cetera, et cetera. So the only thing you have to really worry about is this part right over here. You have to ask yourself, in order for this whole thing to be divisible by three, this part is. Well, if that part is, then this part, in order for the whole thing has to be divisible by three, that also has to be divisible by three. But what is this right over here? These are just our original digits, 498. Four, a nine, and an eight. We just have to make sure that when we take the sum, it's divisible by 
three.